motorhomediaries.com. Good morning, Marco and Chris. We are in the RV that is the Motorhome Diaries. This morning I'm joined by Adam Mueller, Pierre, and Jason Talley. And they have been traveling the country, been to several states already in search of freedom in America. And I'm going to ask for you as well. We believe in freedom on all issues at all times. We believe individuals should be free to act up until the point that they initiate force against somebody else. So right now there's a lot of man-made legislation on the books that would uh, that's in direct conflict with that. We, we believe as long as you're acting morally and you're not harming anybody, you should be free to do so. And now are you for less government, no government, what exactly um, you know, I'll, I'll take any of the above. What we advocate is a voluntary society where government doesn't get in between people's peaceful actions. So uh, it, we call it a, a peaceful evolution. So we want to see government as small as possible. And you have been in uh, 30 some states already, talking to people with different viewpoints. What's it been like so far, Adam? Oh, well, it's been wonderful. I mean, you get to see what people are doing in the freedom movement, uh, whether it's activism, um, organizations, and uh, politics. But um, I think there's a diversity of everything going on all over, from Texas and New Hampshire, where it's common where people carry guns on their side all the time, to like some other states that really frowned it or would shock, would be in shock when people to carry open carry a gun. So you know, there's a bit of everything everywhere. And you guys basically gave up your jobs, your homes, and got this RV to do this trip. Yeah, we thought this had so much potential. Uh, I left my job. Jason was a contractor, flew a bit on the road, and Adam came with us. And uh, it's been great that we've been we've had the support of a lot of people uh, across the country and around the world that uh, that helped keep us going by giving us donations to, to fill our gas tank. So it's it's really been great. And when we've gotten uh, had some other issues, they've, they've uh, the community's risen up and, and helped us out quite a bit. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Well, in our next hour, we're going to take a look around this RV that is now their home for the next few months, almost a year on the road for the Motorhome Diaries. We'll have more of that on that in the next half hour. We're reporting live downtown, Alyssa Moon, WREG News Channel 3, Daybreak. people to live peacefully, um, you know, and uh, we find that uh, you know, government is a, a huge obstacle to that with like, so many edicts and rules. Voluntary society re relies on like communities and uh, your friends, family, uh, that mix, and uh, we've got to see that firsthand. You know, people come out to the meetups, they support us, people open their homes up to us, allow us to like uh, shower, uh, eat, use internet, uh, all kinds of things. I mean, gas money, uh, the work, so uh, it's, it's really nice just to see the, the kindness that everyone has and which would be so uh, essential in a voluntary society. Being introduced to these ideas is half the battle. A lot of uh, ideas people have been exposed to have learned in like, government schools and they think government's the solution to these problems when in fact a lot of times government causes much problems. When we're talking about uh, war, I mean that's mass murder and so uh, that's why you know, government needs to be very small so it can't commit these atrocities. Some people feel that like you know, they're alone with some of these ideas and when we're in the town uh, we're trying to give them that support and that basis to like, connect them and, and be an outlet. We're just trying to get people to think for themselves and really question stuff and uh, hopefully um, advance this uh, to a volunteer society just to one where there's self-government. People know that uh, um, murdering and uh, theft and fraud are, are wrong and that uh, you know, you don't, you don't need to be told not to do these things. I would rather just uh, live morally and uh, live my life uh, free as long as I don't initiate force on anyone else, and I believe everyone else should be able to do the same. I mean, we're moving in the right direction. There's setbacks uh, from time to time, but we are moving in the right direction. So I think especially now with the internet and technology, people are able to uh, break geographical boundaries and share ideas without government censorship. We know it's a long process. We just want to talk to, you know, one person at a time and uh, have them, uh, you know, uh, embrace these ideas of a voluntary society, have them, you know, stop allowing themselves to be controlled and trying to stop controlling other people. There's not a time when we're going to be able to declare victory and say, yes, we found freedom. I think it's, uh, Jefferson said, uh, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance.